Alright, uh, this is the question for geometric progression. It's MF, I think it's a chapter 1 for SPM form 5. And one of the students actually posed this question to me on my Facebook page. And then he mentioned this is one of the hot questions, means the higher order thinking skill questions, or Malay they call KBAT. Alright, anyways, yeah, I, I decided to make a very short video to like discuss about this question. Alright, so this question first you will see a you see a square and then the square actually becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So I'm not sure this one is arithmetic progression or geometric progression until the question actually tell me that this is geometric progression. So when this is geometric progression, you know you are not going to get a common difference. You will get the ratio means you will get R. It's not D. Right. The question says the figures show parts of the few square drawn in a sequence so you see or is this a square all right even it seems like a rectangle but i think this is a square all right the size of each square form a geometric progression meaning their side actually will form a geometric progression all right so given that the size of the first square is x so yeah we have some information first we know yeah a actually equals to x all right means when a equals to x this is the first square then it means i know yeah, I have x, 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 x for the first one. Obviously, you can find the side of the second square becomes smaller, and the side of the third square becomes even smaller. Okay, it will continue, become smaller and smaller. Alright, and then, yeah, means their side actually can form a geometric progression. Okay, we'll go further later. Okay, so, and the ratio of the fourth square to the side of the first square is 8. Uh, ratio 27 so this is a ratio so you must roughly understand about ratio so this is a fourth square so I'm going to call term 4 because it's a fourth one alright and then ratio the first square I'm going to call t1 t1 means the term term 1 means the first term the fourth term alright so something like this this is 8 ratio 27 alright then find the parameter of the sixth square in term of x so yeah of obviously you have to know what is the like what's the side of the sixth square all right okay so before that of course you know you yeah you have to get some information from the a and you have to get some information from the ratio here so normally first thing coming to my mind is i understand actually I can get the fraction from the ratio. So I'm going to call this one T4 over T1 will equals to 8 over 27. Because for ratio, we always can write like this. Mean the term 4 is 8 and the term 1 is 27. So when, when you have the ratio like this, you, you, you need to understand actually you can do something like T4 ratio T1. Mean T4 over T1. And 8 ratio 27 will equals to 8 over 27. Alright, and then I have a little bit information about the first term because the question tells me the first term, the side is x. So I'm going to substitute the x into the first term here. Okay, a actually equals to the first term. Alright, I hope you understand that. So I try to substitute here. So t4 over x will equal to 8 over 27. Alright, so from here, Yes, if we solve this one, actually we can know the side of the T4. It's 8 over 27x. Alright, if you understand about formula about the, the Tm for geometric progression, will equal to AR and minus 1. So if T4, T4 you will get AR4 minus 1. And we have the A. A is the first term. First term we tell you is x. And then 4 minus 1 is our power of 3. So this is T4. So actually, I can substitute the T4 into the T4 here. Do you see that? There are T4 in it. So A is, is the X. And then R, yeah, because the purpose of doing this because I'm trying to find out what is the ratio. So I will substitute into here. So you can find out actually my T4 will equals to X multiple r power of 3 
is exactly the same thing I substitute in the T4 will equals to 8 over 27x. Alright, so you just need to solve this simple equation. You can easily get R. Okay, when both sides also have x, I can simplify x and x. No more x already. So R power of 3 will equal to uh, 8 over 27. So I know I can move the power of 3 to the other side, become Q root of 8 over 27. So obviously my R is Q root of 8, you got 2, Q root of 27, you got 3. So now I find my ratio. It's so important to understand this ratio. Alright, if you found a ratio, so I will try to form my first four term. Okay, if my first term here is x, my second term obviously is 2 over 3x. And then my third term will, you see, the multiple 2 over 3, right? So you continue multiple 2 over 3. This is the purpose of the ratio, isn't it? So you will get 4 over 9x. And then you continue multiple 2 over 3. This one you will get 8 over 27x. Alright, so, yes, you will see actually I continue multiple 2 over 3. Okay, so, yeah, so from here actually you can see something is, just now, my fourth term over here, my fourth term over here actually get 8 over 27x, right? So you see, this is my first term. So I, I'm going to call this one uh, T1. This is my first term. This is my second term. This is my third term. And my fourth term. So my fourth term is 8 over 27x. Alright. So yes. So I just show show you this one. It's just for your understanding. Of course in the exam it's not necessary to show. Because the question actually asks you to find the parameter of the 6 square. 6 square means what? You know you have to find T6. So when you find T6, you are not finding the parameter. Means you're finding the side of the T square. So it means you continue find this one. Okay, so the square actually becomes smaller and smaller. So this one might be the T6. So when you find T6, you only find the side of the T6. Because you have four sides, isn't it? Okay, it's very hard for me to draw over here. I hope you understand. So when I find the answer of T6, the answer of T6 for this one is for the side of the square. It's not the parameter. So later, you remember, if you want to find a parameter, you just multiply 4. Because I know the side, uh, side uh, square actually have the 4 side. Alright, so I just know the formula equals to a r n minus 1, which is 6 minus 1. My a obviously is x. Alright, so it's x. And this is r power 5. Of course I know my r. My r is 2 or 3, obviously. And then this is power 5. Alright, so yes, I, I guess I, I need to solve this one. Alright, so what I'm trying to do is, yeah, I just power 5 for this one. This x, so 2 power 5 is 32, and 3 power 5 is 243. So you just solve this one, and then I guess you will get, okay, means it's 32 over 243x. This one, t6, is the side of the square. It's not the parameter because the question asks us to find a parameter. So, if I have the square look like this, what happened? This is my square and this is my t6. So, the side is 32 over 243x. Now, I want to find a parameter because 32 over 243x is only one side, right? So, my parameter of 6 square will be 32 over 243x multiple with 4. Alright, it's just like that because you want to find a parameter, you know you have the 4 side, so it will be just multiple 4, you have 1, 2, 8 over 243x. Done. This is the answer for part A. Okay, yeah, maybe you need quite a lot of steps actually to go into here. But then if you understand this one, it's not too bad, right? Then, we solve this one. Yeah, we already done A. Now, we have to go for B. B, the question says what? The sum of the area, sum of the area 
of the first three term is this one. Okay, the keyword here over here is area. You have to understand this one is area. Alright, so means what? Means this is side. I need to get the area in order to move further. So normally like this, I will like form a new geometric progression and then yeah, it's easier for me to solve the question like this. Alright, so I'm going to erase some of the information here because I might need more space for me to explain about this one. So I'm going to erase yeah, the thing over here. Let me erase it. Okay, so you go, you're going to see I formed the new geometric progressions. Maybe I use black color. So the first one, x multiple x. Yeah, you have the first term, second term, third term, and fourth term over here, right? So the air now is the geometric progression for area. So this is GP for area. So the first first area is just x square. The second is 2 over 3x multiple 2 over 3x, which is uh, 4 over 9 x square. Of course, the third one will be 16 over 81 x square. And then you will continue. Alright, so from here, obviously, you have to find out what is R. A is very obvious, A is x square. So R is, you know you can easily get the R by, yeah, use a uh, second term divided by the first term. So ratio equals to T2 over T1. Or you can use T3 over T2, it's the same thing. Or you can use T3 over T2. you get the same answer. So obviously, from here, if I use uh, second term, which is second term, 4 over 9 x square over x square, I know my R actually will get 4 over 9 after I simplify. Alright, and then I know my A is the first term, is x square. Alright, because this is area, so you... You need to do something like actually like yeah you form a new geometric pr progression for area. If this is volume, it's possible you're trying to find volume, but this is 2D, it's quite hard to find volume unless they tell you this is cube, then you can multiply three times. Alright. So then after you get this one, now he says the sum of the first three term. I know I need to use something like S3. But for SN for geometric progression, we have two choices. So you always need to check your R whether bigger than 1 or less than 1. Alright, you will have two formula for for SN. Yeah, I hope you still remember. Yeah, let me erase all this unnecessary stuff. Okay, then I explain about a bit about formula. So for SN, you have two formula. This formula when R is bigger than 1. So you have something like this, Sn will equal to A, and then this is R power of N minus 1 over R minus 1. This is when R is bigger than 1. But if your R is less than 1, your formula will be A, 1 minus R power of N over 1 minus R. So you have to know what is the difference between these two formula. Both is the sum of the first N term, just depend on your R. But in this case, my R is 4 over 9. 4 over 9, I know, obviously, is less than 1. So less than 1, I'm going to choose the second one. I mean this one. Alright, so S3, I'm going to substitute everything into here. So F3 equals to, my A is X square. So I substitute X square, this A. And then 1 minus my R is 4 over 9. Okay, power of M, sorry. So yeah, so it will be 4 over 9 power of n, n is 3, over 1 minus 4 over 9. Alright, of course, I know my sum of the first three term is 3, 3, 2, 5 over 81. So, yeah, so this one, S3 is 3, 3, 2, 5 over 81. So, I'm going to solve the simple algebra here. This x square remain here. And this one is actually, yeah, you can use a calculator to solve this one. I think the number is like quite quite big. This is like 1 minus uh, 64 over 729 over, uh, this one will be 5 over 9. 
Alright, then, yeah, then I'm trying to solve this one. Because what the question trying uh, to ask me to do is find the values of x. So I know if I solve this equation, yes, at the end, I believe I can find my answer for x. So first thing, I moved up my 5 over 9 to the other side. So it will be 3, 3, 2, 5 over 81 multiple 5 over 9. And then it equals to x squared. And then this one, 1 minus this one, yeah, you, you can work it out. So basically, this is 729 over 729 minus 64 over 729. Because 1, I can make them have the same denominator, right? So 729 minus 64, just, yeah, I don't have my calculator with me, so I just do manually. This is 5, this is 6, and borrow 1, this is 6, 6, 5. So this one will be 6, 6, 5 over 729. Alright, then, yes, uh, you're going to solve this here is possible. Uh, I guess you give me a moment, I'm going to take my calculator. Okay, so, yeah, I, I just solve over here, maybe. 3, 3, 2, 5, multiple 5. Yeah, I have 1, 6, 6, 2, 5. Oops, what's wrong? Uh, never mind. I have one six six two five, and then eighty one multiple nine. I got seven two nine, and then this one I move over. Obviously, it's going to flip over seven two nine over six six five, which equals to x square. Seven two nine and seven two nine I can simplify. So one 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 six six two five divided by six six five. Yes, it's a nice number because I get twenty five. So I will, after simplify, I will left 25 equals to x square. So I'm going to move my square to the other side. It will become square root. So I'm going to write x equals to square root of 25. All right, square root of 25 normally will get positive negative in this uh, for square root. But in this case, we only will get positive 5. Why? Because x actually is a length, is a length of the square. Impossible will get ne negative for length. So in this case, never take negative value. Never take negative value. When they are length, their volume, their area, yeah, we never take negative. All right, so we need to take positive 5. Yeah, I think this is the answer for x. Yeah, this question is not really like super hard. But yeah, you must get the idea. Because it's not so direct. Because when you do the second question, is you ignore about the words of area, you doesn't form your new geometric progression. You won't get the, the answer correct. Okay, the first one is actually quite simple. The first A actually you just need to understand. You can change the ratio into the fraction, and then you solve it. You can easily find the fourth term, and then from the fourth, fourth term over there, over there you can actually easily get the R. Then you can get the answer. But the second one is a bit hard. So yes. So after that, after you able to form the geometric progression for area, you also need to know when your r is less than 1, you actually, you have to choose the second formula. You actually have to choose the second formula. Because if you use the wrong formula, obviously, you have got the different answer also. So yes, I think that's all for this video. I hope this video do really help you to understand this geometric progression question. Yeah, I hope maybe this kind of hot question yeah, will help you understand better about geometric progression. Anyway, thanks for watching. If, okay, see, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.